Let's do some news. Welcome, everybody. It is February 8th, 2019. 2019. Sorry, I'm reading. Brush your teeth with cookies. Yes, I don't know what you're talking about. What's welcome, everybody? No T series. Come on, get out of here. This is the news. We're talking about Apex Legends. We're talking about EA and their very bizarre quarterly predictions. Square Enix also on the chopping block for their bizarre quarterly predictions. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, about uh, Elvine and all the controversy that uh, sprung from that. That's going to be an interesting one to go over. Uh, Vic Mc 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 I practiced beforehand. Vic Mignogna. I was going to say Vic Mignogna because it looks like baloney, but uh, that's not the correct enunciation. So I looked it up and people are saying Vic Mignogna. Mignogna. So we'll briefly touch on that one too. Uh, let's see what else uh, we have. We have a world first. We have a world first update. Please don't spoil it in chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right, here we go. Uh, you might have to refresh your streams, by the way, if you're watching this live, because we did drop a few frames, so you might be a little bit behind. Uh, but the frames are all caught up. Everything looks fine. So weird. I know. So weird. Just like I just mentioned, an, I mentioned a name, and all of a sudden so the stream starts going down. Uh, strange and strangeness. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. First off, let's talk about. Apex. Apex. With one trillion people playing. Just an insane amount of people playing this free-to-play battle royale game. Who'd have thunk that a free-to-play battle royale, battle, royale, battle royale game, Jesus, could do so well in current year? That is just uh, unheard of. Crazy. <clears throat> some, for some of you, it's actually your first BR. Uh, Saren, this is your first BR. Uh, I, I, Gaming Raptor, this is his first Battle Royale, and I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, uh, envious of folks who basically go into this as their first, uh, their first, uh, Battle Royale Grimwolf. Yeah, see, so this, this is a thing. It's, it's, you get in, and it's, I feel like, damn, that's like people getting into MMOs at, like, uh, getting into MMOs at, like, Wrath, and, and the WoW, uh, WoW, Wrath of the Lich King, WoW Expansion. Like, damn, you missed out on all the garbage that everybody else had to, like, put up with for so many years. Um, compared to, you know, compared to that. <clears throat> so, Apex Legends, I have, uh, I have a, uh, a review uh, going up on YouTube <clears throat> soon. And uh, it does cover it. It is favorable. I think that's pretty obvious from anybody that's watched anything that I've done on this stream in the past several days. I've, I definitely look at this game with favor. It has to survive the weekend. It absolutely has to survive the weekend. Uh, and that's the biggest thing. Uh, if, it, if it could survive the weekend, like every weekend is basically when people end up, um, you know, falling off the train. Uh, and so if it can basically continue to, uh, to basically continue to uh, grow past the weekend, then I feel like that's that's a good sign. Uh, it is it, it is obviously <clears throat> a uh, it's a game that takes place in the Titanfall universe. But it's not necessarily a Titanfall game. I actually forget. I actually forget that uh, it is a Titanfall game as I'm playing it because it doesn't really feel like Titanfall. Like the gameplay, some some of the movement feels like it's a Titanfall game, but but it's just not. Uh, it just doesn't quite. Uh, like I just forget. Oh yeah, it's Titanfall. I guess. Uh, Titan Watch Night. Yeah, actually, Gath, it's, it's pretty. It's, if you want to like throw a bunch of you know games in a hat and. Pick out the ones that close, more closely match this. That would those would be the three right there. Um, <clears throat> Mike is on the right today, so I'm going. I'm always on this side. That has not changed. <laughs> Damn it, Rar! Get your shit together. Uh, let's see. Now they have come out and said the world thinks we are making Titanfall three, and we're not. This is what we're making, uh, and so that's something to note. Somebody said earlier that no, no, no. They said the opposite. This is what the articles say, man. It very specifically says in an interview, they said, quote, the world thinks we're making Titanfall 3 and we're not. They also go on to say that we're doing a free to play game with essentially loot boxes after we uh, were bought by EA and it's not Titanfall 3. It's the perfect recipe for a marketing plan to go awry. So we, why have that? Let's just ship the game and let players uh, play. And that's a that's a ballsy ass move. They came out later saying they have a Titanfall title coming out late this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a phone? There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, he said they're not working on Titanfall 3. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> you can, you're not looking to get Titanfall 3 at the end of this year. So that's what they meant. That's what we're talking about. Uh, Titanfall 3, not happening. So, it's, uh, yeah, they might have a Titanfall spinoff or a phone game or something like that. That's something that's probably what it'll be. But 
Uh, but yeah. Uh, let's see. So right now, the way that the, oh, sorry, the way that they launched this thing, if you missed it, they, they it was leaked a little. It was leaked. You know, there were there were people you know uh, speculating what it could be. We all thought it was going to be a BR. Everyone thought it was a BR. We were all right. Uh, they um, they did the teaser at eight a.m. On Monday, they had a live stream with the announcement on noon. It was a pre-recorded live stream, which was really bizarre to watch a pre-recorded, a completely pre-recorded uh, announcement on, on Twitch, a live video gaming platform. Uh, and then uh, a few hours later, they released the game, right? Or actually, I think right away. they released. So basically within, within like a what six hour period or something like that, they went from uh, from teasing the game to a full release and <clears throat> they just accumulated millions of players in the days that followed upwards of like you saw 10 million um 10 million uh users i uh, saw the headphones on cover i thought it was a dj are you an idiot <laughs> you're on twitch dude <laughs> what the fuck god damn uh let's see uh but 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 ea ea has got some words to say they said that uh, because their 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 overall performance for this quarter has been uh, under par. I didn't mean to call you idiot, by the way, but you did say something pretty idiotic. So, so uh, let's see. EA blames subpar Battlefield Five sales on single player. Uh, they blame basically blaming single player for it. Which, by the way, they put out what three three campaigns uh, in the single player, and then later put out a fourth one. Uh, which indicates that the game wasn't finished at launch. So, you know, whatever, EA, sure. Uh, and they also blamed, let me see, I have a list over here. <clears throat> it says they blamed, uh, so they blamed lack of Battle Royale, as you can see here. Thank you, Cody, by the way, for screenshotting this uh, this search for me. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, they, they, blamed, they blamed the lack of Battle Royale. They blamed uh, uh, single player. They blamed um, uh, Red Dead Redemption, which is funny. They said, they said, they said, uh, we had to work on single player for this instead of building something else. So that's what basically, you know, put it, you know, hurt it in the long run. And then they're like, oh, but this single player game is one of the reasons this other single player game, Red Dead Redemption, is one of the reasons why we're underperforming. Like, you got to You got to choose, man. You got to choose. Um, they did say that they had a uh, uh, they. So EA said Battlefield 5 sold 7.3 million copies. And that was a disappointment. That statement highlights the problem in the gaming world right now. Even millions of games sold is not enough to satisfy the greed of shareholders. And I'm actually pulling this quote from uh, uh, from just a random Twitter user because they're 100% spot on, like totally, totally spot on. Uh, it's true. They 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 came into this with expectations of selling eight point something million copies of the game, and because it only sold seven point something million. That is a failure in their eyes, right? And so their stock takes a dive and all that. It's just, it's the expectations here. And we've, we've seen this before. We're going to talk about Square Enix in a minute, right? But this is what this to me, here's what this reads like to me. It sounds to me like, uh, like they're just, they, they go into a quarter and they say, we expect to do blank in the next quarter. Please, please stock prices go up. Come on, investors. Come on, let's go. And then they underperform knowing they have to know. That they're not gonna hit these fucking stupid numbers. Why not? Why not say, hey, we expect to sell five million copies on a game we know will more than likely sell more than that. And then they sell more, and then their investors are like, bitch, we just made a whole lot of money. We're gonna keep on investing in EA. Right? It's 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 like I don't want to say voter or sorry, investor fraud, but goddamn, man, it sure as fuck feels like it when you're like hype yourself up to basically you're gonna get these numbers and then you very clearly underdeliver when you know you're gonna underdeliver. Uh it's just it's just silly. And also 7.3 million units? Come on, man. So this is uh yeah, so this is the article, the next article I'm gonna talk about here. EA is focusing on Anthem Apex Legends following disappointing quarter. Um 7.5 million sold is a disappointment. It's like saying, uh, can't read the rest of those words. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. So EA is focusing on Anthem Apex Legends following a disappointing quarter. They expect Anthem to sell five to six million copies. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't believe that they're going to sell. They're going to sell um, five to six million copies of Anthem. I really don't think they will. And I think we're going to be repeating the same story again in uh uh in three months when they do the next quarterly call no worries no worries Roar. 
Um, and you know, the next quarterly call when they're gonna be like, oh man, we we under we underperformed. Well, it must have been because of blank. I can't wait for them to blame themselves. Oh man, it's because we released Apex Legends. <laughs> it's like, mm, mm. yeah, five to six million copies is is pretty significant. That's a pretty significant number. Um, and so short their stock and make some easy money. Yeah, basically, yeah. So short, go go short on uh, on EA if you want to make a, a dollar. <laughs> it's like double triple warframe uh player base i don't know what warframe's player base is but um but yeah i, I just don't think five to six billion is or five to six million sorry billion uh is anything that's worth uh um it, it's not gonna it's not gonna happen unless unless of course two weeks after anthem 50 percent sales tag uh percent off sales tag right yeah unless they go and they sell it for ba- effectively nothing um i don't think they're gonna hit that number it's just not gonna happen so it says as a result, as a result, the company's the company is expecting revenues of only only 4.875 billion for the full year instead of the previously forecast 5.2 billion. Oh. Oh. So sad. Kind of so uh, So yeah, they 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 missed their forecast by um what is that not even a half a billion 0.325 billion oh man 0.075 billion yes they missed their forecast by 0.075 billion uh, squid is i guess at the bar for five billion copies for kh3 and met was exceeded that number uh by the generalized rumor mill and how much they are hyping and exciting uh excited about kh3 selling over five million copies yeah 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 so we're gonna talk about that in a second too uh because they also reported uh um a uh a less than stellar quarter and they blamed, uh, they blamed a couple of things. We'll talk about that in a second here. Uh, we shall chip it and make GoFundMe for EA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Apex Legends is so free, or so bad they're getting it for free. Yeah, that's the thing with Apex Legends. Uh, with Apex Legends, it's, um, I don't want to talk so much about the game itself, but just like how they put it out. It's like they didn't, they didn't spend any money on PR. They spent nothing on PR. And we all know that they basically threw Titanfall 2 to the wolves. They were just like, yeah, all these other games are coming out. Fuck it, just throw it out there. You know, and, and, and it just, it just, it was an underrated game, uh, as as a lot of us know now. Uh, years later, it was, it was definitely an underrated game, um, <clears throat> and it just uh, it just died because EA essentially just threw it out there. So this is what it felt like. <sighs> and now with this release, it was just kind of like, well, listen, why don't we just release the game and then see what happens? They're probably just like, well, <laughs> you guys already lost all this money, you might as well just go and do it. And it, the game is awesome. I think the game is awesome. Um, Let's talk about what PlayStation Two. Re- oh no, you're talking about uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, not PlayStation Two. Sorry, I see PlayStation Two is the first thing I think of. Uh, Apex Legends free, but so good. I want to buy their packs to support them for being so innovative. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat. Oh yeah, next payday, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw down twenty dollars at least, at least probably a little bit more. Uh, cause I want some of them skins. I want some of them skins. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I mean the game itself is great. I really hope that I really hope that that helps EA stay afloat. Boy, I hope I really I really hope they could hit that five point two billion dollar mark on their next quarterly earnings report because I would just be so sad. I would be so sad if they just didn't they they couldn't quite pull that off, man. Uh, let's see. Next up, Tomb Raider and Just Cause fail to offset wider declines at Square Enix. Now this is almost a non-story because we already know. That uh, uh, KH3 is going to sell bazillions. So the next quarter, they're going to be, they're going to rebound like, like nothing. It's going to be great. Uh, so sorry, sorry, net sales suffered the least. I uh, reported as 1.63 billion for nine months ended de- de- December, da-da, only 4.8%. So they also came up short $1.63 billion versus $1.71 billion. Uh, so they, they came up a little short. But here's the thing. Square Enix has got a bad history of doing this kind of shit. <clears throat> they really do. So first off, let's go back to 2013. What game was released? What game did Square Enix release in 2013 that they said underperformed? Can anybody? Can anybody? My co-host? Let's see. Ah, do you guys remember? Surely you do. It was only six years ago. <clears throat> Not Final Fantasy 14. Gaz got it. Saren got it. Nerd. Ryan got it. You guys all got it. That's it. What? Clip. <laughs> yes. Uh, is this like an alert? There it is. You're a gamer. Tomb Raider has sold 3.4 million copies. Failed to hit expectations. <gasps> oh man. 
So there's a failure. Remember that? There was like, it was like, yeah, it's it, the, their financial report basically came back and it said that they, they hadn't sold enough copies of Tomb Raider and it essentially failed. And so what happened then? What happened? Well, let's check back in a couple years later. Here we are, 2015, two years later. Tomb Raider reboot has sold 8.5 million copies. Wow. Hold on. Fast forward a little bit more. 2017, Tomb Raider has sold 11 million copies. Half of the sales were on PC. Why? You guys know the answer. Because of sales. Or because of, yeah, of sales. Actual, like, discounted sales. Uh, but still, they eventually made their money. They eventually got it. I mean, the Tomb Raider reboot, in my opinion, is a classic. Like, it was, of, uh, at its time, it was like, it was like an actual fresh and really good reboot. Some people had issues with the story and the pacing of the story. Like, oh, how could you go from this innocent girl to a murderous killer? And it's, it's, it's fine. That's fine. You guys have issues. We're not going to talk about the story. But in terms of, like, the gameplay and the entire, the entire game as a whole, the reboot was superb. Definitely a classic for me. Um, it just took a while to catch on. You know, people don't necessarily just buy games just for the sake of buying them because they're cheap. Some of us do, but uh, a lot of us, you know, it's like we, 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 we won't even bother with the game if we know that it's bad, but Tomb Raider holds a, it, it, it holds the opinion for the, uh, the vast majority that the game is good. The gameplay is awesome. It's smooth, smooth gameplay. Uh, hi, I'm doing a show right now. Can you wait? Thank you. Sundays in here. Uh, so yeah, it's this is not the first time that Square Enix has basically come out and said, oh, this game's underperforming. Uh, you know, maybe we won't, uh, or maybe, you know, uh, the game is underperforming. So in, in six years, we'll hit our, we'll hit our, uh, we'll hit our mark. No, there's no edits for that. Come here, Sunday. Come here, say hi. Oh, come outside the news. All right. Ah, wow, we zoomed right through that Apex stuff. That was easy. That was super easy. Get up here. Get up. You can't see you. Get on the camera. Wow. Woo. Let's see. What are we going to jump to next? Let's see. Uh, well, let's do an update real quick on Machinima because some of you guys were wondering what was going on with Machinima um, because they, you know, the channel basically disappeared. Like all the different, uh, all the videos essentially got wiped and, uh, and all the playlists were all empty and it was very sad. Uh, everything was basically gone. Well, the answer to that is that the parent company, Otter Media, uh, has actually... Sunday, where are you going? Don't you go over there. She will actually disconnect stuff. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Sunday. Oh, you're so good. Okay, go on. Boop. All right, so the actual reason why what happened, uh, what happened with Machinima is that their parent company, Otter Media, had shut them down because, um, well... It was, it, Outer, Outer Media was purchased by, uh, I think, let's see, let's see, it was acquired by Warner Bros. in 2016, at the beginning of 2009, folded into Warner Media's Otter Media, uh, and then they basically went through, and the parent company is AT&T, because AT&T owes everything, because you, uh, you guys didn't know, uh, and they essentially just went through and just shut down all the, uh, all the platforms and all that stuff, so that's, it's, Machinima's dead, it's gone, it's gone forever, it's not something that like, oh, somebody like went everything, made everything private and all that stuff, nah, they're just, all that, all that stuff is deleted. So all that, all that video, if you ever watch anything, uh, uh, machinima related in the past, it's gone. Gone, gone. So sad. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I should just go ahead and do the, uh, the, uh, um, the, the rating progress update because I think that's pretty, that's pretty important. We talked about this before. So a little update on that. So, uh, method, method, uh, world-class rating guild gets world's second. Jaina Kill. Also world first, Jaina Kill. Coming up third was Limit. Which I think is hilarious. <laughs> that these poor guys, they actually get... <laughs> yes, yes. So, Method cleared once, and then they did it again. And then Limit came up and finally uh, 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 downed it. So they got world first and second. Yes. Uh, I don't think it necessarily counts, but I uh, couldn't... Method couldn't take third as well. No, no, I don't think they had time to take world third. I'm sure they tried. There's a way to take all, take gold, silver, and bronze all the way down. So there's your update on that. In case you're wondering, uh, I also like showing this page now because people get like super triggered over this site. No, use this other site. I don't know these other sites, man. <laughs> I don't raid. This is perfect. It just shows. Look, a list. Number one, method. I got everything I need to know. <laughs> use the other side if, if you guys want to use it because it's uh, apparently better. It's like Thoughtbot versus Wowhead, I guess, you know, back in uh, 2010. So I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. So there's your update on that. Woo. 
zooming through the news. Why? Because we got a big one coming up. Ah, let's see. Well, I guess let's just, one, one tiny note, actually. Just something to keep an eye out for. Uh, you guys know what Tencent is, right? I'm sure you guys do, right? They're the, they're the Chinese uh, uh, company that owns effectively everything, right? Everything games media. Well, they actually put, they're putting upwards of $3 billion into Reddit. Now, we use Reddit a lot. Uh, like, just in general. I use Reddit. I'm sure some of you guys use Reddit. Uh, and so they're putting upwards of two point, what is it? $2.7 billion valuation, pre-money valuation, and then a, over $3 billion uh, post-money valuation. So basically what this means is they're going to be shoveling money into, uh, um, into Reddit's coffers so they can just go ahead and start using that money to, uh, uh, to hold themselves up until they get their advertising, uh, afloat. So you can look forward to either more advertising or, or maybe they're just going to basically take our, our, our data and uh, yes, valuation is a real word. That's why I try to correct you on that video, Sam. Sam, you corrected me on the video. It's correct. Valuation. It's it's to apply a value to something. <laughs> it's all right. I know a guy that used to uh, pronounce uh, Citadel as uh, Citadel as Cadaddle. So so yeah, don't feel bad. Um, <laughs> it happens, man. Sometimes it's words you just don't come across them in life. Uh, enhancinate. You know, enhancinate your vocab. So just just. Just as a note, just as a note, that's happening, all right? So just, just, this, this is our future, our future right there. Once, once Tencent owns all of the uh, media outlets, they, they, yeah, that's it. They, they control effectively everything. Um, so now we can transition to, and we are like really zooming through this, which is great because I feel like we might spend a little bit more time. We might spend a little bit of time on this next one. Um, we're going to start with, uh, there's been a couple of, of, um, of, um, I guess it's like sexual predators and a accusations, allegations, uh, as well as arrests. And this is like a, a spanning two different people. Uh, another one just popped up right before the stream, but that was an accusation that was made by, uh, uh, by a cosplayer that I follow. And I don't really necessarily have any follow-up. It literally just posted right before uh, I went live here. So I don't know what's happening with that, but that's something that might just expand out later. It's more in the cosplay verse anyway. So this is something that um, I feel is closer to what you guys uh, probably follow. Uh, and also one of the people is somebody that I actually know personally. So it's really fucking weird to talk about that, but we're going to talk about it anyway. So Vic Mignogna, I know I understand I'm probably slaughtering that and I apologize. I'm trying, uh, is a voice actor is a voice actor it's not no it's not uh it's not chaos uh is a voice actor for uh several popular animes including ruby which is a uh rooster teeth production and also uh um a uh, 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 full metal alchemist so there have been some uh some accusations that have popped up across the internet and it led to rooster teeth distancing itself from uh, from Vic, essentially severing him from the projects they're working on. <clears throat> um, Vic has been, yeah, I know, I know. Sorry, I, I don't know his entire IMDb or anything, but he is he is a, a known uh, voice actor, and so this is this story is actually developing. I feel like. Um, oh, hold on a second. We have always supported civil debate on the site recently. Is the civil oh, okay, this is actually, oh, this has actually been updated a little bit, but it's still the same, the core of it's still here. Uh, these accusations have been popping up on, uh, up for 10 years on Rooster Teeth, would have known uh, of them before even hiring him. Yeah, so that's, so here's the thing, like, this, I don't, this is, this is purely allegations. This is purely allegations. There's, there's no, it's essentially, um, you know, people have made accusations but nothing has been like there's no no charge has been filed or anything like that. And I understand. I'm not trying to say it's like oh you have to go to go to the cops to make it legit. Where's the evidence? Where's all this stuff. I'm not saying all that stuff. All I'm saying is compared to the next story, this is uh this is uh, yeah you're right. I mean you're right, Martha. This is a case of trial by social media. Uh until you know uh, the accusations are that he uh, is inappropriate with uh, with minors or with with women. I should say minors. Sorry. Um that's the next story. Uh is inappropriate with women in um uh in, in, in certain meetups and, and everything like that so <clears throat> here's the thing though like there's there's a lot of people there's like a movement that's like i stand with vic or something i i did a search for his name on youtube to try to get like a little more information because again i don't follow i don't follow the uh um i don't follow the, all, all of this uh the voice actors and everything for for animes i barely watch animes right so i don't i don't follow the voice actors 
Uh, isn't he massively homophobic? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you, if you're saying it is, uh, it probably has to be, right? Uh, at least that's what it feels like. <laughs> uh, but no, it's, it's, there's, there's, I read, I watched a video where somebody's trying to defend, essentially defend him, uh, saying that, uh, the video, the, so I'm, I'll keep this video, this link to this video is going to be in the, uh, in, um, in the description if you want to watch it, but, but be warned, it's like, it's kind of tacky, tackily presented. Uh, I actually have a trigger warning, uh, corny presentation on this here. But essentially, uh, it summarizes the rise of bandwagoning secondhand experiences, trying to further amplify the severity of the accusations. And so, um, and I don't know, I don't know what this guy's, you know, if this guy did these things or whatever, but, uh-oh, uh-oh, we're going to jump in here real quick with a quick update to this story. So there has been another, uh, another uh, uh, accusation against Vic Bignogna. This is Monica Riel, Riel, sorry, Realisms at Twitter. And she has actually come out and said, thank you, by the way, Sam, for keeping us up to date. Sam's over here. Thank you so much, Sam. Uh, it says, dropping in to say this, stop harassing my friends and colleagues. You want the truth? It happened to me. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but here we are. I don't owe you anything, but if it'll stop it from happening to someone else, then so be it. I will tell you everything when I'm ready to do so. Please understand that this is difficult for me, my friends, and my loved ones. Also, for all those go-to-the-cops folks, I thought it was a one-time occurrence with somebody who had always been creepy with me. I chose to forgive him, even though he didn't ask for forgiveness. It wasn't until several of my dear friends came forward with similar stories recently that I realized that this happens regularly. And just so we're clear, you can be fired from a job for inappropriate behavior without ever having charges brought against you. I'm the only I'm only the one voice in a sea of many. You may never hear the other stories. Those women don't owe you anything. I'm being so vocal because I don't want this to happen to another woman. He's hurt enough people. He's a sick man and he needs help. I hope he'll come to realize that. So that is a new development on this story uh regarding Vic. Uh the the old development, I've said things like allegations. Uh I said things like uh social was social social media justice. Second oh secondhand experiencers. That's right. Secondhand experiencers. Uh and this we're cutting in because this is a first hand experience. This is real. Like this is a first hand experience of this happening. Uh and so this is basically gets added to uh just want to add us on to the story uh, about Vic, and uh, and yeah, so this is something that'll be developing because it is currently developing. I really don't want to talk about this next week, but if anything else happens on this next week, then uh, on this before next week that it's worth mentioning, then uh, then we will. But it seems like this is definitely something that is uh, that is coming up. Um, <clears throat> victim blaming incoming. Yeah, I hate to see what the uh, what the. Uh, what the comments look like underneath this at the bottom. I won't scroll down because people sometimes put dicks and everything in the uh, in this, but but yeah. So we'll we'll keep in touch with it. We'll we'll check back with this next week and see if there's anything that's uh, that's come from this. But I think that already the what Rooster Teeth has done has um, pretty much basically solidified that this is an issue. Uh, we are distancing ourselves from them, and so that's pretty much it. Uh, she's turned off social media for a while. Yeah, good. So, so this is this is good. I'm glad we got this. Thank you so much, Sam. This is good because previously the story was pretty much just you know, it was all secondhand experiences. I, I didn't find anything that was like here's a firsthand person. This happened to me, and this is a reputable person who's you know got clout. Uh, I mean, like you, well, I don't know. I don't know what her work history is, but um, <clears throat> this is not like somebody with three or four followers who says I heard from a friend from a friend that they said this. So this is a very big difference. It definitely changes the dynamic of the story that we just covered. So that's it. Back back to your news. Oh shit! For those of you guys who watch these shows, just know that your your voice actor for these things are going to be uh, uh, this whoever he voices in those shows is probably going to be uh, um, replaced. Probably, I say probably is going to be replaced. Uh, I had a friend who knew someone who had a cousin that had something happen. Yeah, yeah, it's not a lot of firsthand accounts. And so it's like, but you could argue it's like, well, those people don't want to necessarily come forward. And it's like, that's a good argument. You're right. It's totally true. Uh, so it's tough. It's tough, man. It's it is it is a bit trial by social media, uh, pretty much. Unlike the original VO for uh, Izzy in high school. DXD. Wow, we're, we're, we're getting to anime territory here. I have no idea if this is. Uh, who did things similar to the next story? The cops refer Vic. Vic has been accused, but there is no proof, but the internet will lynch people without proof because that is what they do. Evidence and proof don't matter. This is true. This is true. Totally. This, uh, 
this cosplayer that I follow that that actually just posted her again right before the show, uh, she posted um, a huge Twitter chain where she goes, she basically details uh, where she feels that she she doesn't like calling it rape in her, in her Instagram story. She called it uh, sex without consent because she th- feels like rape is a very strong word. And it's true. It is a very strong word. Right. But she wrote this whole thing where she details all the stuff that happened with this person. And um, and like at the bottom it was like in the comments already people are just like wow this guy is such a shit bag oh, i can't believe this you pressed all this stuff like it was like immediately people are going to jump on and take a side and and again i'm not saying that what she's saying is true or not i have no reason to believe that she's lying i i don't i really don't um but but at the same time it's like anybody could say some of these things it take somebody can make accusations against me randomly on a, on a fucking account on twitter and I, there'll be a bunch of people that'll come after me they'll be like well i could have never met this person before just make someone up Right? Just make some shit up from some person I never fucking met at some convention I've probably never been to. And that's pretty much it. Crucified. Done. Just like that. Um, that's an odd distinction. That is literally the definition of rape. That was, by the way, that was her words. That was her words that she used. She said, I don't want to use rape because of the um, because there's a lot of connotations that go to get attached to that. So I'm gonna call it uh non-consensual sex. Um knowing that it's the same thing so she did she did make that you're right like she didn't make that connection it's like well it's kind of the same thing but also kind of not um i accuse you of eating my cookies mike where are they i ate them (laughs) duh (laughs) that's what i do when i eat your cookies uh uh, you touched me through the screen i was like oh geez i know i know come on let's not let's not make jokes of it listen listen uh i'm just saying like it is it in in this current media uh social media um uh, uh just in this era <laughs> like you have uh it's very easy to level uh or to leverage f- your false accusations of somebody and get a lot of people on your side it just is is that heater on no why no <laughs> damn it um heater's on i definitely don't want that right now i stand with donkey <sighs> mike wants to ask me if i would if it would donkey that show <sighs> All right, all right, listen, listen, listen. We got a serious one coming up, and this one's a weird one, all right? It's the last story of the day. That's actually not, it's not the last story of the day. I have, I have a high note to end on, because uh, I'm going to need it after this. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to need a, um, a palate cleanser after this one. And I think Mr. Boy might be able to deliver on that, in that regard. So, Monday? I want to say it was Monday. Monday or so... Uh, I got a, I got a DM from, uh, from Josh, uh, uh Josh Allen, AKA Lore. Um, and he said, Hey, remember Elvine? And I was like, yeah, of course. I mean, I, I follow the guy. Like I, I know Elvine. Like we met him, we, we've met him a number of times. Well, I've, I've met him a number of times. Uh, yeah. I had like a tw- like Twitch parties and regular party, re- whatever parties at conventions and everything. Um, I didn't know him well. I mean, I know, I know a lot of people, right? I don't necessarily know everybody, you know, well, <laughs> Uh, obviously. So there was over, over Super Bowl Sunday, Super Bowl weekend, there was a sting operation that was held to, uh, essentially, um, snatch up dudes who are attempting to have sex with a minor, right? This, it, it was basically, if you've watched To Catch a Predator, uh, and if you don't know what To Catch a Predator is, you definitely know the Chris Hansen memes, right? Why don't you have a seat over there, right? That whole thing. That is exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. Minus, minus the cameras. Uh, this was done in Atlanta. I'm sorry, in Georgia, Brookhaven, Georgia, not Atlanta. Um, and it says here in the official report, it says as a result of proactive undercover investigation coordinated by the Georgia Internet Crimes Against Children, ICAC Task Force, the Georgia Bureau of Investigations, Child Exploitation and Computer Crimes, the CEACC, Brookhaven Police Department, DeKalb, DeKalb uh, County District Attorney's Office, and United States Marshals Service Southeast Regional Fugitive Task Force. 21 people were arrested over a five-day period beginning Wednesday, January 30th, 2019. Those arrested were charged with OGGA, da, 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 computer or electronic pornography, and Child Exploitation, uh, Exploit, Ex- Exploitation Prevention Act of 2007 and or the OCGA 16-5 to 46 da, 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 da. trafficking of persons for labor or sexual servitude additional charges and arrests may be forthcoming so what do some of these things mean so trafficking of persons for labor or sexual servitude that basically means you you offered money to uh somebody for sex 
Um, and because in another article, they broke all this stuff down. And essentially, when you get charged with this, that could that could basically be from you offered somebody money in exchange for sex, uh, computer or electronic pornography and child uh, exploitation prevention. So the child uh, um, child uh, computer or electronic pornography thing, that could be something as simple as uh, and I say as simple as goddamn, But that could be something like uh, you somebody you ask somebody for nudes. And they are under the age of, you know, 18. That, yeah, I know, I know. Did you notice that? That was weird. Uh, oh, it's because I said, I said, uh, I said the C word. Um, this one right here. That's her, that's her trigger word. So that is as simple as asking somebody for nudes or sending them, uh, sending an underage person uh, nudes and getting nudes back or whatever. Uh, if that person is under the age of 18, then that, that uh, uh, counts as child pornography. Uh, computer computer or electronic child pornography so just so you guys know what some of these charges means obviously a lot of these things are going to be uh extrapolated a little bit further once they actually when, when actual when these people actually go to court we don't know a lot of the actual details for some of these charges but i'm going to walk you through basically what happened this day uh and how this thing spread um and some of the stuff that came uh out of it so <clears throat> so this is the actual that's the actual first uh that's the press release this is the first article that was uh, that was released. There's actually a picture of Elvine uh, in the video. There's a video here. We won't watch the video here today. Uh, but they actually very specifically point him out. Um, Thomas, his name is Thomas Chung. There he is. So one of the men arrested was 32-year-old Thomas Chung, a uh, gaming employee from Metro Atlanta and a Twitch partner. Um, it's interesting how they throw a Twitch partner in there. He's also a YouTube partner, but I guess it doesn't count anymore. It's like, weird. Like, why a Twitch partner? Why is that thrown in there? Um, so Chung thought he was talking to a 14-year-old girl through a dating app, Whisper, but it was actually an undercover agent. So again, this goes back, this is totally to catch a predator. Um, <clears throat> he, he did indeed, uh, and this is not, this is, this is obviously different from the, uh, uh, when I talk, I talk about like Vic, right? I don't want to, I don't want to bring the Vic stuff into this because this is like an actual sting operation. Uh, and that is something completely different from what what's going on with Vic. So I want to make sure we keep these two things separate. Uh, this is an actual investigation, a sting operation that occurred with law enforcement. Uh, this is not this is this is not uh, accusations uh, necessarily. Like this is they have proof. They they, they and and he did these deplorable things, uh, and he got fucking busted. And it's disgusting. Like it really is. It it makes me sad actually because you think you know people, and then something like this happens. And this is like cut and dry. This isn't even like oh, so you took a piss in public, and you're now on a sex offender. You're on the sex offenders registration list for sex offenders registry. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, uh, because you took a piss in public. Like that's that's a <laughs> that's that's not this. <laughs> this this is not this is not it. Yeah, this is being caught red-handed. Exactly. No way to spin this. This is the first tweet that actually Josh sent me. This is the first tweet that came out about it. Uh, where it says Smite Game, your community specialist Elvine LOL was just arrested for being uh for being in a child trafficking sex ring, which is not true. Uh I mean, again, I don't want to play down what he's done. What he did was deplorable, was fucked up, is disgusting. Okay, let's make sure we get that on record. I think that shit is gross. I'll punch him in the face. <laughs> like that kind of shit right but it's not a child tra trafficking sex ring uh he just basically thought that he was going to be able to get it on with uh, somebody who's under under the age of 18 14 actually which i guess he was aware of which is disgusting uh so this is insane and tragic for the gaming community as a whole he used to play wow too and they tagged wowhead and peculia um and so yeah it's 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 weird it was really weird i was really i was really uh uh i was really taken aback by this whole thing because it was um, because, again, this is somebody that I, I've had recent communications with just like, oh, hey, dude, like I twitched at Twitch cons. Like, yeah, we'll, we'll meet up, have some beers. But BlizzCon actually it was like, oh, yeah, we'll meet up. I'm going to watch a Starcraft. I think I have a tweet out of it. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch Starcraft all day. But if you want to hang out, we'll hang out. You know, it's just it's just the amount of shape. Wait, what was it? Uh, why the fuck is she tagging Wildhead and Perk? Because uh, this is it. And this is not the first. This is this is not the one, only instance of this. Um, let's see. When you say first chair now, I'll find <laughs> uh, we'll get to we'll get to the the tagging bit in a second here um slasher slasher actually posted an article here posted the article and he has a good summary of the whole thing uh obviously we have a picture of elvine here in the middle let me go and zoom in we actually read this the switch partner and high-res employee thomas chung has been arrested for allegedly arranging to have sex with a child as part of an undercover sting that lasted five days called operation interception ending on super bowl sunday according to atlanta media um 
I get this guy is a horrible human being, but how is this bad for the gaming community? It's not the gaming community that uh, was trafficking children. I don't, I don't, I, I think it's embarrassing for the gaming community. I don't think it's bad for the gaming community. Did I, did I, I didn't say that. Um, but other people have said that. You're right. Other people have said that. There's, there's actually, uh, well, fucking this, this one right here. I wasn't going to show this one, but since you brought it up, uh, Mindy Robinson, uh, she's been in a couple B movies. Uh, I don't know who she is outside of this, but apparently she's a political pundit of some sort now. Uh, she says, real people don't care about... Oh, hold on a second. Let me go back. Let me go back. So she says, gotta love that. Uh, gotta love a lefty that thinks our country is disgusting because of Trump, and then gets arrested for arranging sex with a child. Uh, and so, this kind of shit where it's like, let's bring politics into the mix. It's like, I don't necessarily feel like uh, your political leanings have anything to do with your uh, uh, with your sexual deviations, or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you want to call it that, just play it down a little bit. Uh, it's, it's, but, but that's not going to stop people from all chiming in because it, what, it, what, it's a thing. It's like, wow, this is, this is the, the gaming community. It's an embarrassment to the gaming community as a whole when this happens because it's never happened before. Like we've had people get, we've had people get, um, you know, fired or let go from positions or, or, or like, like shunned from the internet, uh, for, uh, sexual harassment allegations, uh, or, or, or things like that. But never, I, I don't, I don't think there's ever been a case where somebody who was a public facing figure, um, in the games industry, like in terms of like community management, like somebody who's on the ground floor, like someone like on, on my level or Josh's level, like someone like that, which is what Elvine was, um, where they got actually arrested for a sexual predator crime. I don't think that's happened. And so that's what kind of makes this whole thing, uh, like from 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 the perspective of like what happens when that happens like what 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 do we do right like what what do we fucking do if this happens in the nba or something like that right the player gets let go there's a press release that's put out uh and the person you know goes to jail or whatever and then they that's it they disappear and that's and so you don't see them playing your favorite basketball game anymore and that's that's kind of it right uh and so in this case i feel like there's there's a little bit of a difference here because this person is like in this community they are directly involved like in the nba and that, i just i just pulled that out of, my, out of my ass so sorry uh but in the nba like this is not like it's not like oh i play basketball with that guy <laughs> that's different that's different you know it's like you don't know that person personally you know he's someone who played basketball and then he got busted in a, you know for whatever uh, and so this is, this is, this hits really close to home for, for me and for a lot of you guys. I'm sure if you played World of Warcraft, you might've watched one of his gold making videos some years back because he was, that's something that he would, he did. Um, I'm going to get this tweet off my screen. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now this was much better, but still, but anyways, uh, so Rod Ra goes through and he has uh, a bunch of updates here and actually here's the actual charge. Uh, it says, um, computer child exploitation online. So this is basically what I, what I explained that this was a, uh, um, uh, that, that is essentially him send, sending nudes to the, uh, um, to the, the, the girl. And then, uh, if they send them back, then, you know, basically you're in possession of child pornography. Uh, I don't know the details of that, but his court date is a Valentine's day. Fucking ironically. Um, and so I guess we'll find out more after all the whole thing uh, goes up. Uh, he is out on bail right now. Uh, some people are saying that his father's loaded or something. So, um, We'll have to wait and see. I know that thing keeps going up. <laughs> Hold on a second. There. Okay. So, uh, they, yeah, so he is out on bail. Um, they, uh, some people are saying because his father's loaded. I don't know. I don't, I don't know him that well. I guess some people know him better than I do, which is fine. I'm sure. I'm sure people know him better than I do. It, also, people could be pulling shit out of their house. Maybe he paid for his own bail and, you know, and then he's going to go right back to jail. <laughs> Because this is a pretty fucking cut and dry uh, thing right here. Um, that charge is 15 years, give or take, for state. He will absolutely take a plea if they give one. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm I'm certain. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he got very little actual prison time for this. Um, because I'm guessing it's a first time offense. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know like how they handle these things. I don't follow like when people get arrested for this stuff. I don't follow what the trend is like if the charge is 15 years is that the minimum charge is that the maximum charge if they have a plea deal do they get like do they get months or time served i have no idea actually um but yeah let me let me guys scroll up here i missed some of this stuff uh, uh did any yeah it's crazy all these stories about elvine from people i know personally that are coming out now after the fact how creepy he was 
So that's another thing too, right? Like, um, there's there's been a lot of uh, of folks recalling situations where they were with him, where they felt like he was being creepy, or like like I said before, the secondhand experiencers uh, saying, "Oh, I heard from a friend that he was like this." Um, and so I don't have any uh, experience with that. Obviously, you know, as 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 a man who has interacted with him, I never felt like I was um, that he was being inappropriate with me. But uh, but I don't have a I don't have a position to say that he was inappropriate with women because I am not a woman that he found desirable. So, uh, but I'm sure that if we've done this, then it's entirely possible that he has a history of doing things behind closed doors. Uh, Harvey Weinstein didn't make the movie uh, didn't make the movie community look bad. This gaming community stuff is just bullshit. There are bad people everywhere. Well, Harvey Weinstein wasn't the first person uh, to be accused of some kind of sexual harassment. Um, and also, he wasn't arrested, right? He wasn't arrested. He was just accused. He was just shunned. So I don't know if this—I don't know if this is like the sound the same level. I'm not sure. I don't—I don't, I don't know. I mean, we can make arguments out of the way, really. Uh, let's see how interesting the world would become if he starts uh, naming other names in the gaming community. Oh God. Well, this is this is a this very much reads like a personal thing for him, right? It very much reads like a personal. Um, like this was, I don't, this doesn't read like him and a bunch of buddies or something like that were like going around trying to pick up underage girls. This reads like he, and, and I don't know if you guys, if you guys don't follow him on Twitter, he did, he did, uh, probably a couple weeks ago, um, he did write this whole thing where he was talking about how he feels that his looks, like his hair color was actually preventing him from getting, uh, like limiting his dating pool. I think that's his exact words. Um, and I remember reading that. I remember reading that at the time and just thinking, I was just thinking, I was like, oh, I, I mean, I, sure, I could see that. He's basically saying that his purple hair uh, is uh, is uh, a turnoff for some women. Okay, sure. Like, I, that's, that's all right to me, right? Obviously, hindsight, you take a different perspective now that you see this, right? Uh, but but still, it's, um, yeah, oh, it's weird. Uh, so anyways, uh, I watched the other dude and he said, and saw he was completely ugly. I'm sorry if your face can't be pretty. What the hell, Cliff? I think you're being facetious. Um... I must have missed the first part of that joke. Uh, Roman Polanski evaded prosecution by, uh, by fleeing the country and didn't get uh, used to paint to paint the community. Oh, okay, so I think I see what's going on. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. All right. So, um, I feel like what's happening is a lot of, a lot of you guys are, and I understand, uh, you don't want... You, you feel like he's not an embarrassment to the community because you don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. Um, and I understand that perspective. I do. Um, I'm, I am embarrassed to have known him, even though I know, uh, that, that I, there's no way that I could have known that he would have ever done something like this. Our first interaction was actually in 2011 or 2012. And, um, you know, I meet so many people and when some of them, hi Sunday, when, when something happens to one of them where they do something deplorable or, or whatever, uh, it's not. I, 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 sometimes I'm just like, oh God, I knew that guy. That's weird. Right. And I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I knew that person. Right. Uh, but at the same time, I know that I had nothing to do with that, with, with what that person did in their actions. And the same thing goes with Elvine. Um, I didn't know him that well, obviously, but at the same time I felt kind of embarrassed. I'm not, I, I didn't have anything to do with his actions. Those were his and his alone. Uh, and I'm not saying when I say he's an it's an it's embarrassing for the gaming community. I mean that it's it shines a bad light because he is part of the games industry, right? Industry, not just I mean he's part of the games community, but also the industry working for uh, uh, for high res and and being sponsored by a bunch of people. And so it looks it looks bad for us as a whole. And I understand you don't want to be associated with that, but I'm just, I'm just saying from an outsider perspective, if I was looking at the games industry and like, maybe, maybe if I didn't play a lot of games and didn't follow the industry and I got an article that said, you know, this guy worked at a games and you know, at a game company is, uh, you know, is a pedophile. Um, I might be like, damn, game industry's fucked up. Right. And it's like, fuck, you know, like I wouldn't be surprised if my dad was like, Oh, there's a bunch of pedophiles over there in San Francisco or some shit like that. <laughs> Not that he would, I thought he would. But sometimes he brings politics stuff up and I was like, where are you hearing this shit, dad? Uh, but still, it's just, I, so it's, I'm embarrassed to have known him. I'm embarrassed on behalf of the game community to have known him, but the game community had nothing to do with his actions. We didn't push him in that direction. Uh, we didn't make those decisions for him. Those are purely his and his alone. And so, yeah, that's, that's it. So that's it. No more. No, we'll, we'll get, we'll get back to this. Okay. So getting back to this, um, I was hanging out with a friend last week on Elvine approached us and she 
was just like, I'm glad you were there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of these stories that are popping up where it's like, uh, it seems like you know, there's, there's a lot of issues where, uh, he was inappropriate with folks. Um, but you know, all, all those aside, and I'm not trying to cast them aside. I, I want to move on with the story and be done with it because I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little heated. You could tell my ears are all red. That's how you know, ears turning red. I'm heated about this whole thing because I think it's fucked up. Um, so what happens? What, why, why, why don't you start? No, it's okay. We, we can end this. We can end with something. I got it. I got it. It's a heavy topic. It is. It really is. Red ear topic. That's what it is. All right. So sponsors. What happens to your sponsors when you when you do something like this? They have to distance themselves from you, right? And so we have here a brief statement on Elvine, LOL. This is from High res Stu, who is the CEO and president of High res Studios, the makers of Tribe Ascend and uh, Smites and all those. So the Monday, February 4th, we learned through a local news that Thomas Chung was arrested on a, a, in an operation by the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. We already know the rest of it. But he's also saying, Mr. Chung is no longer employed by Hyrule Studios. As a parent, it is difficult to imagine more disturbing allegations than those laid out in the news reports. We commend the efforts of the Georgia. Da, da, da. So basically, he's not, uh, he's no longer working there, right? They essentially insta-fired him. So there goes his employment. What about his sponsorships? So here we go. NZXT. Uh, it's a PC company. Uh, we worked with Thomas Chung two years ago and his contract expired in September 2017. This behavior goes against everything we stand for and is something that we do not condone. Obviously. <laughs> you don't have to spell that out, but we get it. Uh, we have high standards for all of our partners and trust that our legal system will act accordingly. Uh, and so and so this is actually attached to when you mentioned earlier, why did they tag this person and this person? Because what happens whenever things like this happen, uh, and this is the, probably one of the most severe cases of this, but whenever uh, there's an instance where, uh, or a situation where folks feel like anybody associated with this person needs to publicly uh, separate themselves from them, else they be lumped in with them. Uh, and it's it's one of those things where it's like, if somebody, like, let's, let's say... Um, Let's, okay, let's say Elvine and I did a podcast or something, right? And he got busted for this. Somebody would, would, would tag me and they would say, hey, Mike B, you know, there is all this stuff. What are you, you know, basically looking for me to say, I have nothing to do with that. Make a public, you know, basically distancing myself from, uh, from, uh, uh, from his actions. And that people expect the same thing from, uh, from, from the sponsors. If, if NZXT didn't say anything, then people might think that they condone that kind of behavior, which is bizarre, but that's the way social media works. Disavow, that's another word for it, thank you. I say distance. Uh, and again, another one, Steel Series is no longer supporting or sponsoring Thomas Chung Elvin. They kept it succinct, right? But here, but here it is, it's like, here's the article, and, they, you know, and then somebody basically tags everybody he's associated with just to make sure that, uh, that all these folks come out and they say something against this. Um, I think the mentality is just stupid. It is. But, but like I said, this is the most extreme of cases because it's not, not something that's happened very often, but I've seen it in the dumbest cases in the past where it's just like, oh, this person got caught cheating in CSGO. You, you need to come out and say, and distance yourself from your, disavow them publicly, publicly shame them, right? In this case, it's pretty fucking well warranted. Uh, also, like you mentioned before, Ryan Hart, uh, look at lfblizzcon.com. This is the, uh, um, uh, so here it is right here. Actually, I already had the tweet ready to go. Effective immediately, LF BlizzCon is now known as BlizzCon Trade Chat. There's an amendment to this. Uh, the site will continue to be operated solely by me, giving me, uh, give me some time to change everything over. Thank you for understanding. Hashtag BlizzCon Trade Chat. And, uh, and then it says here, a uh, slight change here regarding the, uh, the, the, uh, the name. I saw this and I was like, what about actual trade chat? And trade chat chimed in. And I thought this is, this is kind of a little side, little side note here. Uh, I just caught this earlier. It says, I feel like this may get confusing in SEO. It says with proper SEO, I think it'll be fine. When SEO is well done, is was well done. You could find just about anything and still be ranked properly. And Panzer, I can imagine Panzer was just kind of like, oh my God, like this is going to ruin my, my brand. And it's true. It would have totally have fucked up her brand. Uh, but yeah, she's basically, I have tons of videos and they basically got into DMs and they, they worked it out. And so now she's training it. What is the actual thing? It's, uh, they changed it to, uh, what was the new name? Uh, Reinhardt, you know what the new name is? I can look at her tweets here, but let me see if she actually says it up here. I always get worried scrolling through somebody's shit here. Uh, every year and a half. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. So there's a bunch of random stuff here about personal things. Um, this is a per personal Twitter. So of course. 
<clears throat> uh, it's a tribal part of our brains that values community above all else. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty. Yeah, I never thought of it like that, but that's true. That's a very, kind of a positive way to spin that. Want to BlizzCon? Looking for BlizzCon or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So they changed the name again uh, because they want again disavow. They want to distance themselves from the uh, the acts that um, that the Alvine did. So what happens to uh, uh, what happens to his uh, Twitter account? So his Twitter account is down. Uh, he scrubbed it. He has actually since scrubbed it. Uh, the, the image up here, and this is weird. The image up here is gone. But when I checked it initially, uh, so I checked it a couple times. Uh, I checked it initially where I saw that he had, um, everything was still there. And I took a screenshot of that. Uh, I don't have the screenshot, but the screenshot essentially shows, I don't have it. Um, that he had 21,600, uh, uh, followers. And, and and all of his information was still intact. And then I checked it again, and this said that it, this image was removed because of copyright violation. But then I checked it again later that night, and it shows just a blue blank screen like that image was removed. The image that was there before was just basically a picture of him and a little icon or something like that. Uh, it didn't really look like anything that I would necessarily say was uh, copyright uh, claimable. It was a picture of him and a little icon with his face on it. Uh, he is now down to 19.5, so he's lost 2,000 followers over the, over this thing. Uh, there's no surprise there. Um, his Twitch account has actually been removed. And again, we're just basically detailing what happens when, uh, somebody in this community gets, uh, um, you know, gets arrested with, with such an allegation. Now, if he got arrested for tax evasion, something like that, none of this shit would happen. Right. But this is a different story. So this is his Twitch page gone. Right. Immediately, by the way, by the way, e fucking immediately. This shit went down so quick. You would think that he was streaming pay-per-view fight. Like, like honestly, like it was actually, yeah, it takes longer. To, it takes longer to take down a pay-per-view fight than it did for them to take down, uh, Elvine's, uh, Elvine's page. Uh, he said he is likely scrubbing as much of his internet presence as possible for his lawyer's request. Now he is. Yeah. After, after he got on bail, all that stuff went, uh, all that stuff, um, uh, started disappearing, but this was done by Twitch, not by him. Uh, this was done by Twitch. And so, Justin Wong, who I can apparently we talk about pretty often on the show. Uh, well, also, let me go back. So also his, uh, his .com has been suspended. It was suspended immediately. Uh, like, and I'm, and I mean, when I say immediately, I mean, like it was removed the, within hours of him being, or within like 24 hours of him being, uh, um, arrested. So unless he called someone and was like, Hey, take down my .com, right? Which would be a weird thing to do, right? Like check it out .com, but you know, whatever. Uh, I feel like this was his provider that was essentially uh, removing it, given that it says account suspended, right? Now that that has that has said account suspended since the beginning, by the way. It wasn't like he wiped it and then it said account suspended. It was removed immediately. And so Justin Wong actually has a, a very, and, and I believe this is totally it, right? He basically details why this happens. Um, and he says, when Twitch suspends a streamer arrested for a crime, they're protecting their own brand and satisfying the mob. And it also inadvertently protects the streamer from people digging through hours of archives and clips. Still think it's the right policy, but an interesting thought. So this is, uh, it is, it is an interesting thought. And he even says further, he says, uh, if you stream four hours a day, five days a week and take a two and take two weeks vacation, you're generating thousands of uh, thousands of hours of content per year. 99.9% .9 of the time, you don't say anything that can be taken out of context. That 0.0075% is a 30 second, 36 second viral supercut of you being a creep every year. And that is very true. Very true. Everything, think about all of his past tweets. He tweeted recently a hello fellow kids gif, right? You know that, you know the gif. Uh, that tweet has been, I don't know what the context was, but it doesn't matter. He tweeted that. And so when people look back on your history, if, when you commit a crime like this, and then people look back at your history, they're going to find everything they can to pull that out uh, and... Um, and, you know, and, and basically make that the story of your life, essentially. Uh, is it, damn, I sent you, you said that to me? I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I went through his whole feed, too. Like, I, the, the, one, the one I thought was probably the most hilarious, which I don't have, I wish I had, was that he was complaining about uh, uh, Super Bowl ticket prices, and someone was like, you should have bought those tickets. And I was like, oh, man, that, was, that one's a rough one. Uh, but it's true. Um, how do you do, fellow kids? Yeah. 
People were pulling all sorts of stuff from his Twitter going, this sounds bad in context now. Exactly. And so that's what would have happened. People would have been watching hours and hours of his content for the past three months, plus any highlights, plus any clips, looking for something to highlight so they could tweet it out and say, hey, look at this thing that this person said. Why didn't we know then? You know, as as if as if uh, as if they're part of like mine hunters or something like that, and they're like, like creating this profile for these people. Um, yeah, it's not quite the same. <laughs> so yeah, it's 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 true. I mean, if if I ever get in trouble for like a crime, uh, I won't say I'll ever trouble for this shit. Fuck that. Uh, uh but uh, of course I ever commit shit like this. I should say fucking a. Uh, but if um if I ever get in trouble for like some blue collar crime, whatever whatever it could be. Let's just say, let's say, um, uh, failure to register your vehicle or something like that. <laughs> like people would find pictures of my truck and be like, yeah, look at it. Here's this truck. He's had this truck for this long and he hasn't fucking registered it. Come on, man. Jaywalking. Yeah, there you go. Uh, don't worry. I got you back. You got my back on my registration. <laughs> like that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like when you, when, when you get arrested for something, you get in trouble for something, people will pull up something from the past and be like, that makes sense now. And it's like, no, no, actually it was no context there, but whatever. And so that's what they're doing here. They're basically protecting themselves. Obviously, if they need to give any of this information over to the, the authorities, they will, of course. Uh, but it also prevents, uh, it kind of controls the mob a little bit. They, they, like he says, they, um, they satisfy the mob because we just saw a tweet where at Twitch was, was, uh, was, uh, mentioned. And it was, it was one of those things. It was like, hey, you need to hurry up and disavow this guy real quick before I think you're part of it. You know? Ah, how many songs you download Napster? What? What? Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, this, this is, that's pretty much the gist. Like, that's, that's pretty much the gist. It is, it is a funky one. It was very, it was difficult to, like, outline this for the story today because there's just, um, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's not something that I've ever dealt with. I, I don't, I, I, I don't, I've never known a person, I don't know anybody uh, person that I've met that has been arrested for any kind of um, uh, crime against a child like that. So this is like 100% like new territory for me. And I'm sure for a lot of you guys, it's the same thing. It's like you, you probably watched some of his videos in the past. I'm sure some of you may have. And um, the statute of limitations of piracy is uh, seven years. Oh, yeah, dude, 2011, psh, all the songs <laughs> on Napster. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it never stops being weird. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm sure that the, the games industry in this current state is still pretty young, still pretty young. Um, and so it's only I mean, it's only going to happen more. I mean, we're already making more money than the movie industry. And so it's going to, uh, it's going to happen again. Like more people get more money gets involved means more people are wanting to get in part of it. Uh, we're going to bring out people who are garbage humans. Like there was that guy who got banned because he was beating his wife on, on, uh, uh on stream. And then they banned him for like what, a couple 30 days. And then they brought him back and then he got banned again. It was really bizarre. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still, it was that gang community pretty young. We're all prime targets. Dang corpse. Dang. Dang. And with that, with that, uh, speaking of people trying to get some of this money, I have a Soldier Boy weekly update. Do -do 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 do do Check it out. Soldier Boy. Oh, fuck it, A. Hey, this guy. Soldier Boy week weekly update. Here we go. Soldier Boy debuts new website and a significantly cheaper console. That's right. Mr. Boy. Gonna wrap up the show with this one. Who? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. All right, so Mr. Boy has a, what's called mini soldier game powered by three AAA batteries has a low price as $27.99, which is a significant decrease from his previous consoles, which sold upwards of $200. Wow, hey, look at that. It plays Mario Brothers. Man, this is totally, I, I took screenshots. I took screenshots of his site when I saw this uh, Monday or, or Sunday or something like that, because I thought for fucking sure it was not going to be here by the end of the week. And it is. It's still here. Look. Geocities.com slash South Beach slash 7041 slash Soldier Electronics. Woo! <laughs> Let's look at the products here. Let's see. So we have, oh shit, Soldier Android USB Charger. Soldier, Soldier Bluetooth headphones, Soldier Bot. Those are new, by the way. The Soldier Bot is new. Uh, Soldier Pods, and these are cheap. 
these are cheap. <laughs> you guys laughed. That was my actual uh, GeoCities uh, URL like 20 years ago. GeoCities.com slash South Beach slash 7041. I will never forget it. I'll never forget it. But yeah, that was, that was real. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, you can get... I, I've not actually... Uh, how funny, Atro 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 atrocities. Uh, I've never, I haven't actually purchased any of these things, but I imagine somebody has. Uh, somebody's purchased these, and um, I wonder what the quality is. Because a $20 soldier watch, I'll, I'll sport a fucking soldier watch for $20? Just for the fucking memes? I'll go to a convention wearing a soldier, soldier watch? Hell yeah. Uh, soldier PS4 keyboard, if it works, it works. That sounds great. John Tran did, and he never got it. It's been like a month and a half. Wait, wait, that was the first, the first one, right? Has anybody done the new one yet? This right here, the Soldier VR headset for uh, uh for smartphone for fifty bucks. Those things sell for twenty dollars at, at Fry's on uh, sale nights. Seriously, um, and in terms of some of these, I'm sure, I'm sure you could probably find uh, equivalent for cheaper. Uh, no one knows. I don't know what the quality is because I don't know a single person that's ordered one and actually received the product. Uh, a soldier waterproof Bluetooth heads, heads, Bluetooth stereo speaker. Is it a stereo speaker though? If it's only one speaker, I'm not trying to nitpick. I'm, I'm being, told, I'm being serious. Like it's, it's like, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, so I want to talk about the font for a minute. Can we do that? Can I just zoom in on this? That's a rough one. What font is this? It's it's like it's like a like a really ugly Comic Sans, right? The English runes. What is it? Even Max, I know. Even Max, I know. We're at what were we at? Five hundred percent. Even here, it's still kind of difficult to read. Blurry comics, like fat, it's like super bold, fat Comic Sans. But soldier, <laughs> soldier Sans. That's what it is. Soldier Sans. Fuck. That's it right there. Man, that's the new, that's the new Comic Sans, Soldier Sans. It's funny because I actually took, I did, I legit took screenshots because I thought for sure this site was not going to be here. I was like, this site's not going to be here in fucking three days. There's no way. And sure enough, it's here. Here's the mini soldier game right here. $27.99 comes in color blue. I highlighted this right here. I highlighted this part. It says with double glass, it can effectively resist radiation and protect children's glasses from harm. Now, hold on. Let's go back to the actual site and make sure that's still in the actual site. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. What? <laughs> hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, oh, the game is gone. <laughs> is it really gone? Oh, my God. It's gone. I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice it was gone. Oh, my God. We got a new update. We got a new update on the weekly update for Soldier Boy. Uh, it's gone. They actually did remove it. I'm glad I got a screenshot of it. There it is. Breaking news. Update on the update. Real time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with double glass, it can effectively resist radiation and protect children's glasses from harm. Food grade ABS material, non-toxic and harmless, safe and healthy. For those of you guys who are getting kind of hungry while playing your Soldier Boy mini soldier game. Uh, 688 in one handheld game console po powered by three AAA batteries. Not included. Man, unbelievable. Oh, God, did you find it? Did you find the font? Did you find it? What is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no, that's it. Uh, oh, okay, 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 it's in here somewhere. Is, is, it, is it called Soldier Sands? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo ain't gonna do sh That's it, it's over. Oh, man. Just, just, the, the story just keeps on giving. There's gotta have to be like a wrap up at the end of the year of all the soldier shenanigans that have happened so far. Just crazy. Triple A battery on a handle con you know that shit's not gonna last. With a backlight? Fuck no. A backlight? No, that's done. Remember Game Boys with four double A's running? That no. <laughs> uh man. Alright, so that's it. That was a tough one. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh or hanging with me that whole time and also uh being such a fantastic co-host. Thank you so much, guys. Um my name is Mike B. You can find me at twitch.tv slash AK Mike B. YouTube.com slash AK Mike B. Man, I guess uh I, hopefully next week is an easier one. Hopefully this hopefully next week is, is like just chill, just regular, just regular news. 
regular ass news with a little bit of soldier news on top. Just a little bit of soldier news on top. And I'll be good for that. I'll be good for that. So thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. I will see you guys later. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. We're good, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do we need to restart?